Because somebody on here go check the algorithm on Big U versus WAC 100 because I think he a little twisted in the head with that. I think we can all agree your name is not the draw. Get the f out of here. What's good, y'all? Big U running the algorithm now. Hashtag Big U, huh? He <laughs> funny, boy. He know exactly how to get under wax skin. Anyway, we got more receipts on Big U, man. Let's get to the bottom of it. We'll definitely comment throughout. And appreciate y'all tuning in, man. It's your boy to answer. Let's get it. Now, I want you to look at, he said, all I had was game. He said, Ray J's album flop, which we four, five times platinum on Sexy Canada. I think everybody know that ain't happening, right? And he said, all I had was game, right? Okay. You see that PTR right there? What date is that? Hold on. Everybody PTR. Whack is PTR on it. What date is that? What day did that say, bro, on that text? That's a message from him to me. That's from him to the lame. Whack. I want to show y'all who's been the front runner. What's the date on that? July 16th, 2020. Okay, watch this. Ready? Here yeah. we go. Now watch this. Now it's going to line up. July... 16th, he telling me, bro, you made it, right? Right. That's what he's saying. Okay. What's what's the what's the date on that? Uh, PTR blue face? Yeah. What's the date on that blue face album? Uh hold on. June what? June twenty. June twentieth, two thousand that's twenty, right? Two thousand twenty, right? 20. Yeah. So June now now I'm gonna expose something to a lot of y'all because a lot of y'all just be thinking I'm the manager. Okay, here we go. Who is the owner of that album? Unk uh, Wack 100. Stay right there at the bottom. Look at the bottom. Who was the owner? It says, it says 2018 Fifth Amendment Entertainment Inc. Fifth Inc. Amendment Inc. is here before 100 that's Entertainment. Company. Fifth that's Amendment. Your company. Yeah, that's so, Wack Company. June 2020, I dropped the famous script, right? July 2020, Big U is sending the lane. I want to make sense of this. Right? And I'm right. And I'm going to show you why he sent me that. You can see parts because I was upset about something. That's me in the green. You can see the bottom. I was upset on some bull. So June, I dropped Blueface 2020. July 2020, he's telling me what? Bro, you made it. Whoop de whoop de whoop. You can't. I'm the lifer in it. But I thought he just said I didn't have blue face yet. See, when you do a bunch of snake line, you can't even keep up with when you're doing it and when and what you're doing. You're chilling with the answer. So one, Ray J's All I Feel I Want was Sexy Canna was definitely not a flop. Sexy Canna was a very big record. Two. Game wasn't the only one on my roster. Three is obvious. You was aware of Blueface on my roster because just a month after I dropped it and Tatiana, it went crazy. You telling me the lane what? What is he telling the lane? That's the date right there, right? Yeah. See, I don't believe in all this back and forth. I'm going to let you fight the facts. But in the meantime, what we going to do, we going to get back to this. What, you got another PTR? What? I'm going to get back to why the lame got that. Why would you send the lame back? That's 6 0 business. You sending it to the lame for. Wait, what part you talking about? What? So now, everything you just said, Ray J's All I Feel album was definitely a success. Blueface was definitely part of my roster already. And for the record, Blueface was signed 2018. He was signed in 2018. Right? I re released two formats of that album. Uh, Famous Crip and Famous Crip Reloaded. That's why when I put up the bottom part of that album, the owners, it said 2018 Fifth Amendment Entertainment. So the version I'm showing you, the 2020 release was our second release was Famous Crip Reloaded. Where we added some songs and right.
So 2018, Blueface is signed. Ray J definitely won the flop. 2020, you telling me I'm the one. I'm the one that made it. And game has been there since 2012, 2013. As far as me doing business with him. So I'm trying to understand what he's saying and what he's not saying. And then I really want to see what his explanation going to be for wanting to go Nipsey's um, family and kids for this 30% after he died. Freddie, you got the date. What date did he send me this? Uh, it was June or July 2020. Uh-uh. It was May. Which look one? at the oh, date. Oh, oh, no, no, no. That was May. That was May. Okay, good. Yeah, May. That was May. May 20 what? 20, right? May 20th. So now, we do know Nipsey died March 31st. Day of Nipsey Hustle's funeral. Let's see how far this was. Let's uh, let's see. I April wasn't April eleventh. April eleventh. April twelfth. He came back. So from the day he died, April twelfth. Let's get this right. April twelfth. Was it thirty days in April? Uh, to March to May twentieth. So it was 30, 40 days after that man is in the ground. The one you love. Your mind drifts to let me go this state. I'm going to mute up, bro. Here's a quick reminder of what Big U had to say about business with Wack. Who knew who first in terms of the Alan Grumblad dude over at Koch? And if he actually went and tried to take the contract. I'm telling you, man, it's constant entertainment. But let's hear uh, Big U. Let's get to it. I don't have no business with WAC 100, bro. And guess what? He fell to realize, and y'all fell to realize, I was dealing with Alan Grumbach way before I even knew WAC 100. I, my, if you go look at Nipsey's first first album that we released with Epic, it was produced. By Alan, it was, it was pushed out by Alan Grumbler. It was pushed out by Koch. Uh, so I knew Alan before he knew Alan. You know what I mean? So that's the only thing I want to address from that. Just to continue his lies. You know what I mean? Some some people sell their souls to tell lies, and it's going to go out like that. But I'm going to address that. Another continuous lie. You know what I mean? Um, I ain't never tried to get nothing from nobody. Never went to go with nobody's album. And I damn sure apologize to nobody that I, you know what I mean? Come on. I'm going to move how I'm going to move. And I ain't never went to go with nobody's. That's the silliest stuff in the world. How long you been in? Let me ask you a question now. Yes, sir. How long you been in this business? Podcast business? Uh, About like nine months. I've been actually doing videos for about a year and a half. But nine months in a podcast. And in your knowledge of the music business... Has anybody ever went and took anybody's contract? Took? No. Okay. <laughs> Secondly, is that even possible? And thirdly, what did he say we went to go get? Exactly. <laughs> no, no, but I just, I, look, man, look. Just remember this, and this is what I want you to put in caption. Okay. My name is the caption name now. Mm. You got to say Big U and something. If you're on the West Coast, you got to say Big U this, Big U that, and you got to put the hashtag in YouTube, and you'll get a bunch of hits. I got to live with it. You know what I mean? That's just, just what it is. They'll come out tomorrow, and they'll say Big U said wooty woo. I go on my Instagram. Big U said wooty woo. They making a lot of money off of this. These dudes is making a lot of money off of disrespecting the culture. That's what it is. It's about disrespecting the culture. It's not helping the culture. It's not building the culture. It's disrespecting the culture. They lie all day long. You know what I mean? And it ain't going to stop tomorrow. But I can tell you this much. If I went to go take something from somebody, what a receipt at? And then how you do it? When it anytime you finna get a contract, don't you need a contract? Man. Straight up. Wouldn't there be a contract with my name somewhere where I'm saying, and Shug said, sign this over to me? Because somebody on here go check the algorithm on Big U versus WAC 100 because I think he a little twisted in the head with that. I think we can all agree your name is not the draw. Get the f out of here. 
my name to draw on social media. Are you? I, what are you talking about? The most your name been talked about, been tied to me. Thanks to High Son. High Son Campbell gave you that, and I was still pertaining involved in whack. Hey, Uncle, I just you. Yeah, you put Big U in. You put you Big U in, in whack. Name, come your up, name pop up right now. Yeah, your you. name come Anytime up. Anytime you your put name in come up all over. So what is he talking about? The little spark you have gotten come from me. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Wag versus Big U. The saga continues. Big U say he running the algorithm now. You see what Wag said to that. That's hilarious. Things that's on the horizon. I think Wag might be taking his clubhouse show to TV. Possibly the Zeus Network like uh, Blueface has his show. I think Wag is working on something. And uh, as that happens, though, uh, we'll provide more hip hop content in general and not focus so much on Clubhouse, even though that's what got the party started. But as long as they're going, I'll bring it to you. Appreciate the support, man. Like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy, The Answer, man. We out of here.